in the name of my ancestors. <sighs> Peace, five and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. I'm the host of this particular program, known here on YouTube and many other places as the Mighty One. The Mighty, Mighty, Mighty. Uh, got to put in that uh, Angel Snub Nub Seven. And I am your brother and hopefully your friend, Tali Ibn Ra. Brothers and sisters, those of us who are the descendants of slaves born in America, those of us that are trying to learn who we are, I would never uh, make mockery. I would never try to demean any one of us striving, trying to learn who we are. However, I suggest that in your attempt to learn your past, to learn about your relatives or whom you think your relatives are, I would suggest to us spend the same amount of time searching for who you are today. It is wonderful that you might feel or believe or perhaps you might even know that you are related to the great Egyptians or the uh, Hebrews or the Moors, whomever you feel that you are related to. These persons, these people no longer exist as we know it. So it is nice to learn about these things, know about these things, but yet and still, it is more of a benefit for us to understand who we are right now. Because that no longer can help you in what we're dealing with right now. In fact, the reality is, whatever it Whatever they were, whatever they knew, did not prevent them from being a conquered people, and now they are extinct. All the knowledge, everything that you know of them, you are fabricating, manufacturing, trying to think or believe that you're getting a connection to somebody in reality who might not even claim you because you are far from them. You are generations removed from them. You and I are a brand new form or version of the original people. We are no longer them. That's what you and I must understand. That's not who we are any longer. Just like when you leave your mother's womb and that umbilical cord is cut. You are from your mother. You are part of your father, but you are no longer them. You are an individual. You are something brand new. And they will pass this life and leave you here alone. Those ancestors, those people of whom you admire, and that's wonderful, they have passed this life and gone. You have to understand who and what you are and learn what you are about. And you cannot do this if you are obsessed with somebody of the past that no longer exists. Because they have taught you nothing at all. This is something, you're obsessed with something that you have gotten out of the ground and believe you know what it means. And that is uh that in itself, that's, that's guiding you to a path to nowhere. Because you don't know where you've been. But yet and still, your attempt, your striving to want to know is good compared 
to your counterpart. Who is your counterpart? Your counterpart are those of whom I call dark European. Those of whom I call backyard Negroes. Those of whom you know as Uncle Ruckus and Sambos or, or Uncle Tom's, whatever you may call them. And we should all feel sorry for Uncle Tom's. We should all feel sorry for the dark European. But see, all of us at one time came from that mindset. We didn't know any better. We were born as Uncle Tom's. We were born as dark Europeans. That's what we were. That's how, that's all that we knew until hey, this knowledge, these, this information that we know of began to change our minds, enlighten the bring brought light to the darkness of our minds. So we should feel sorry for our brothers and sisters who are dark Europeans. We should feel sorry. I know that we get angry sometimes, but they just don't know any better. It's just like a dog. And the dog was trained to bite black people. Do you really blame the dog that was trained since the dog was a puppy to bite black folks? Or do you blame the trainer? The puppy trusts the trainer. The puppy only knows the trainer. And the trainer has done a terrible thing to train this puppy to bite black folks. Now, this does not mean that you allow the dog to bite you, of which that's what the Uncle Tom Dark European mentality did. They allowed these dogs to bite them when they should have been grabbing these dogs by the fur, grabbing them by, them, by their jaw, taking a pistol, and blowing these dogs' brain out. But they didn't. Because we've been indoctrinated, indoctrinated excuse me, my pronunciation of certain words is messed up sometimes. But, uh, of course, many of us grew up in the Christian church. And the Christian church taught us to turn the other cheek against our aggressors. At the same time, this God does all this loving, but you don't see the love in the scriptures. But the God has no problem with a lot of punishing this teaching, this is confusing. And this is cycling in the mind of our people that have been Europeanized with this slave teaching. And y'all, all of you will agree with that. We should feel great sorrow for our brothers and sisters who are still lost, made deaf, dumb, and blind. They make you hate them, but it's not their fault. We all at one time acted the same way. You know how it is to be a, a Uncle Tom. Many of us proud to be Americans unless you were lucky to have parents that taught you different. This is a mental illness. We've had this mental illness for 400 years. It's still going on today. And these mentally ill people teach their children this mental illness, this mental illness of dark Europeanism, Uncle Rockerism, Uncle Tomaism, Judaism. Well, this is a different type of Judaism. <laughs> they can't help it. This has been going on for generations upon generations. In your scriptures, those of us who are religious. It says, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. I don't trip off Uncle Tom. I don't trip off Sambo. I don't trip off these people who run to protect their massa. They are, they are a sick puppy trained since birth. They don't, they can't help it. They are mentally ill. It is mentally ill to love those who hate you. It is mentally ill to love those who cause you harm. That's a sickness. It has to be. Why would you love somebody that beat you? Why would you love somebody that make mockery of you? 
love somebody that does not view you as an equal, that view you, in fact, as a savage animal. It is mentally ill to depend on people that do not have your best interest at heart. That is mentally ill. There are no laws, not one, not even a misdemeanor that so-called black folks, black Americans, have created as a group that Caucasian people obey. Please, if y'all know the law that African Americans, so-called African Americans, you have come together and you made a law and Caucasian people obey that law, please direct me to that one law. Because as far as I know, Caucasian people don't obey not one law created by a group of people called Negro, Black, or African American. Not one law. But yet and still, I'm an American. If you are an American, where is your equality? If you are, if you are equal, where are your laws? Where, where are your policies that other people of this nation they obey as a policy or law. You don't control nothing. You're just here. Whatever they say, you do. You're just a follower. You're just a brown noser. You live the Uncle Tom, the Sambo. They live in a, a delusional environment. How can you claim to be an American, how can you claim to be an equal, but there is nothing that supports what you say except words. To be an American means that you also have a say-so. You participated in the Constitution. You participated in the creation of the judicial system. You participated in the creation of foreign policy. You participated in the all the systems of this nation, and you have not, not none of them. So the Uncle Tom is a mentally ill person. The Sambo, the dark European, is a mentally ill person. And even though they make you hate them, we should feel great sorrow for them because they are severely lost. And it is a blessing that we who live today, somebody open up our eyes. And hopefully one day their eyes will be open pretty soon. Thank you for listening. Jot down your comments. This is your brother, Talik Ibn Ra. If this wasn't is the reality's temple on earth. Feel sorry and pity, not hate.